Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to lesson 15. And in this lesson, uh, your child will be learning how to recite and recognize the numbers zero to 20. So we're upping the bar. Uh, we've, we've gone up to 10 so far and now we're going to try to extend your child's knowledge of numbers up to 20. And here's what you'll need for this lesson. This is, uh, as you know from the last lesson, is a number line. Now it's a zero to 20 number line. And uh, you know, uh, I, you saw the number line I had the, in the last lesson, uh, and I could have added another section on, but it would have been totally out of the range of my camera view. So I made up this special, smaller, more compact zero to 20 number line. And as you can see, it's very easy to make up your own number line. Uh, you will also need a deck of 0 to 20 number cards. So that's 21 cards total. Um, and of course you can make these yourself, as I said in the last lesson. And uh, also from the last lesson again, the uh, printable 0 to 20 number card activities. All right, let's start out first uh, just talking about the number line. So once again, <clears throat> you want to remind your child about uh, just what the number line is. Uh, and if you need to review that, you can go back to the last lesson and tell her now that uh, instead of going up to 10, this number line goes twice as far all the way up to the number 20. And you may even want to point and count out the numbers for her just to, uh, to show her that that is in fact the case. And once again, consecutive numbers, consecutive points on the number line. All right. Um, and you also should review the, the whole idea of digits and the concept of digits. So uh, you can go over that again. Of course, the digits uh, are the numbers zero to nine. And then we get into two digit numbers and we'll We'll look at that here shortly. Uh, we'll point that out. All right. So uh, actually, maybe I'll do that right now. Uh, you might want to. That might be one of the first things you want to do uh, with your with your child here, is to reinforce that. So you can go uh, one at a time, pointing to the numbers. Let's say you get up to nine here, and say, "Oh, look." Now we have numbers that have two digits. Look, there's a one and there's a zero. And look at this next one, two digits, a one and a one, and on and on all the way to 20. And you don't want to get uh, really any more specific than that. Uh, you don't want to treat, uh, teach too many concepts at, at once. As you know, if you've been with me so far, you want to isolate concepts. So that explanation will have to suff uh, suffice for right now. So one digit numbers, two digit numbers. Okay, and uh, we go through the same things we went through. Uh, excuse me, you will go through the same uh, type of lessons you went through with the zero to 10 number line, except now there's more numbers. For example, uh, touch the number, say the number, uh, you model, by touching the number and saying the number zero, one, two, three, all the way up to 20. 
you have your child do it. And of course, you know, he may have a lot of trouble doing this in the beginning, so he'll need some support. So support him until he can do that. And then of course, once uh, you feel he really has, has the numbers down, you could have him attempt it backwards, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and so on and so forth. And uh, if he has mastered the numbers, he will be able to do that. All right. Uh, you can find the number by, uh, your child can find the number by touching and counting, and we, we did that in the last lesson. Let's say he doesn't, uh, you say, uh, um, let's see, Jimmy. Let's call him Jimmy today. Jimmy, can you point to the number 12? And uh, he might forget what the number 12 looks like, but he can always uh, touch and count. Of course, you, you always start at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and there it is. There is the actual written representation of the number. So that's a good strategy that your that your child definitely needs to know. Another thing you can do um, is an activity I call hide the number, and you need a, a little what would you call this? Maybe a number blocker. So uh, let's say I put it right there. And you want to put the number blocker on while your child's back is to you or tell them to turn away for a minute. Have uh, him or her come back and say, uh, well, uh, what number is missing? What number is behind the blocker? So there's another way, uh, you know, another angle you can, you can take towards uh, um, helping your child to uh, learn these numbers. So that's uh, hide the number. You can also play number squeeze, and, and I won't do that again because we did that in the last lesson. Of course, obviously, now uh, uh, there are many more numbers uh, to deal with, but that's okay. And you can squeeze uh, the number with your child. And also the number match game, which I also talked about uh, in the last uh, video lesson. Uh, less that, and that is uh, lesson 14. So you can do that also. And of course now uh, you, you will have uh, twice as many numbers. So you, you could work with all of them. That would be an array of, uh, let me figure this out here. Well, a lot of, <laughs> that would be a lot of cards. Let's just say that. Um, I think 40 some. So you could play uh, the number match game, going all the way up to 20, or you could just take certain numbers, or you could make it a, the, teen, or the teen numbers or the two-digit numbers numbers game, however you want to do it. Okay. And um, like I said in the last lesson, uh, try to post this 0 to 20 number line somewhere, somewhere on the wall uh, at at eye level where your child can come back to it every day and look at it and kind of get these numbers uh, and working with these numbers into his, into his body and his head. And of course you can help him, you can assist him in any way uh, to do that. Hi everyone. As you can see, uh, I'm on the move now and uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, the walking number line. As you can see, it's a, a strip of vinyl with all the numbers from 1 through 20. I'll give you a close-up down at the other end. There you go. And it sits on the floor, and your child can literally walk the numbers. Uh, there is a link, if you'd like to purchase uh, one just like this, there is a link on the Early Gifted Manual. Or if you want to make just a temporary one, you can always go outdoors with some sidewalk chalk and, and find a, a nice expanse of, of concrete and, uh, and just write the numbers in with sidewalk chalk and uh, that, that does the job pretty well too. All right, um, so basically what you're doing with this, at, at, at least at this point uh, in your child's instruction, is uh, you just be walking it, kind of getting used to it because uh, later on, it will, it will come into play uh, more when you're doing uh, addition and subtraction with your child. So there is no zero, as you can see. 
So I'm going to start, there's my toes, I'm going to start off the, uh, the, um, the number line. And you could ask your child, well, walk to 12. And uh, he might not know what that looks like, but if he takes one step at a time on each number and he can count to 12, he can see what 12 looks like. And it would go something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then he could look and see exactly what the number 12 looks like. Um, of course, in counting out loud while he's doing it would be a great uh, assist for him also. So at this point, that's the, the, the main way you can use... Uh, the number line. Like I said later on, in addition and subtraction, uh, it will come even more into play.